Hi, I'm Dave, and you're watching Tabletop Takeovers. You might know me from games like Secret Hitler or uh, Crossfire. Uh, if you really want to mess up YouTube's algorithm, hit that subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment or smash that like button. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us on Edge of the Drift again. My name is Jeremy Sampson, and I'm the Game Master. Uh, tonight, we're going to continue our universe building using the game Microscope by Ben Robbins. And uh, before we go any further, I'd like to introduce our players. I'm Frankie. I'm Tim. I'm Jordan. And I'm Dave. Awesome. All right, so we already have a focus determined, mm -hmm. and we are focusing on the emancipation of Lu <clears throat> New Luna. I have already placed the event and a scene within it that was played out. So, Jordan, it is now your turn. You get to pick a uh, to, to put in a period, an event, or a scene mm -hmm. that relates to the emancipation of New Luna. Perfect, and I think I, I already have mine prepared, and I'm going to place it right next to the classification. And it's going to say, Repelling the Unkept. So, it needs to go before or after. Ooh. After. Okay, we'll go yeah. after. All It'll right, so we're going we're gonna to put it down here then. Oh, perfect. And we're going to tuck the scene previously underneath the, uh, the previous event. So we'll <clears> go after the event. Um, so, Repelling the Unkept. <clears throat> so tell us a little bit more about what that is and what this event kind of signifies. So, I... I'm having this, there is going to be um, humans that stayed on a New Luna, and it's going, they're going to kind of be just this third class, just treated like dredge, and eventually be classified, not as a different species, but they'll be called the unkept, and they're starting to disrupt Lunan society. Um, in ways that become a bit problem for the government and to a point where there's a massive battle for New Luna, or not a massive battle, but a, a significant one that is for them to take control. Completely. Okay, uh, so during this time, where are the unkept staying? Are they integrated in society? Or? No, I think they're very much like almost like mountain people. Like they're just they're away okay. from they've they've left all of society to then just terrorize it like guerrilla warfare. Okay, cool. All right. Very cool. Um, Dave, you're next. Right. You get an opportunity How to about your, something. Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> so I've got an idea. Oh, oh real quick. Yeah. How did how did you uh, how did you set the tone <clears throat> for that? Just so everybody. Knows. I set it as light. Hmm. So uh, my idea will take place after that. Okay. And it's uh, New Luna Goes Dark. New Luna Goes Dark, yeah. okay. And right. so this is, I guess, more for the people outside, who the humans who have left New Luna, um, or I should, the, the Earthlings who have left mm -hmm. New Luna. Um, all radio transmissions, communications, everything, cease. There, there are no visuals, there's no... Um, no radio. There's nothing coming out of New Luna. It is a null. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. nobody knows what's going on. There's there's nothing. So okay, the, we lose Luna, the out the outside the out, loses, everything outside of New Luna loses contact. <clears throat> yeah, interesting. Yeah. So if you're not on the satellite, you have no idea what's going on there. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Like do, physically on it. Yeah. Do the New Lunans know what's going on? Yeah. They're, yeah, they're, it's by design. They're, they're it's by design. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this is intentional. This is intentional. Okay. Very intentional. So, um, Interesting. Interesting. this would be, I guess, from the perspective of humans, probably a dark event, I guess, or from the Earthlings. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll say, because you're, you're, I kind of want to maybe yeah. go back and put this as a dark event from a human perspective. I was seeing this from a Lunan perspective based on what we just saw at the mm -hmm. uh, last episode. Okay. So think of... Um, Think broader. Think life yeah. perspective. Yeah. Life perspective. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as is. Okay. okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna make mine dark, then from a, a, a universal perspective. Okay. This is dark. Since it All goes right. dark. And you said that's gonna go after after repelling the unkept. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. All right. 
man, we're getting some good events yeah, coming yeah. In, uh, um, in here. All right, Frankie, it's on you. So I think I want to do a scene. Okay. okay. All right. So which um, event will this scene take place in? Uh, repelling the Uncapped. <clears throat> repelling the Uncapped. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> I was going to laugh at this. Um, Delilah never made it on the ship. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, Delilah has uh, is actually like a is a like a general now of the unkept. Helpless Delilah couldn't even pack her bags. <laughs> hey, you She's know what? She, she has evolved mm-hmm. from. She had to, you know. I won't even go to say that. It's like she, like, she, like maybe something didn't. Maybe something occurred where she she didn't get on the ship. It wasn't by the, like it, it didn't by like choice. yeah whatever. But uh, she's definitely like been hardened through this time, mm-hmm. um, um, and so maybe like let's maybe let's have a conversation between her, who's like a general, and another unkept general about what they're planning. Okay. Um... Where is this taking place? What's the setting? Um, let's. The setting is <clears throat> a. Do um, open this question up. Do new lunins, um, do they need water to drink? Um, I guess the biological components would need water. Yeah, very new moon in answer of you. Let's see. Let's do. Um, I think just like at an unkept, um, like a like a black site, like a, a unkept black site. Maybe just like. Um, is this like? hardened bunker no or is this i'm thinking like this is just like a like a a maybe a a a condo building that Mm -hmm. is just become this sort of black site for people come in and out it's just like like a safe house it's a safe yeah yeah that's a better word i'm sorry it's a safe house Mm -hmm. um let's, let's, let's go with that so it's a unkept safe house in the capital and where this is a a a capital city. What is it? Ooh, um, I'm gonna open it up. Anybody have any ideas? What, what's the name of that? Name of the capital well, on, yeah. on our moon. What's the name of? There's like a landmark. Oh, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I would go with Artemis. Let's go with that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure that's the Greek goddess of the uh, the hunt and the moon. Okay. I think. Okay. I'm fine with uh, that. Okay. Artemis. So the capital is... Leave a comment if you know the real answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, in the capital of Artemis, mm-hmm. right, which is the capital of uh, uh, New Lunin, right? I guess a, plan, New, a planet capital. New Luna. New, New Luna, sorry. Luna, yeah. um, mm-hmm. We are in um, a safe house. I imagine like big, it's like a dark, it's maybe rainy. Um, there's our hover vehicles like passing by. Um, and... Um, Delilah like walks in and she she has like a, an umbrella, okay. and she like kind of like takes the umbrella down. And she walks into the building. I don't know who the other character would be. Um, what about the uh, what is the context of their discussion? What's the question? Uh, a, a plan to uh, subvert the new Lunin government. Okay, and, and then and what it, is the question that we are trying to answer with this uh, with this scene? Um. What sort of collateral damage could occur? What, uh, whether the risk, the risking the collateral damage, is it worth it? Is the plan and there and there of the collateral damage is 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 it worth it? Okay. You know what I mean? Is that is that yeah, yeah. articulating that well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, so you have Delilah and who's the other character? You don't or you don't know at least one other person? Bo. 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 Okay. And are there any other people that, uh, or characters that you want to be kept out of this scene that don't belong there? So in case one of us has an idea. I don't want Colton there. 
<laughs> I don't want Colt. Colt. Well, okay. Would, yeah. No, no, no. That's uh, that's yeah. That's that's pretty bad. Yeah, I think I want, I, want, I, want, I want to kind of focus on Delilah's character here. A little okay. Bit. We'll and is uh, is Bo human? Bo's human. Okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe can we add a third character? Mm-hmm. So you're seeing. I'd like let's. I would like to add a new Lunin, a defector, or a or a what was hmm. the word we talked? Sympathizer. Sympathizer. A new. Mm-hmm. I want to mm-hmm. add a new Lunin sympathizer. Okay. Um. Maybe it's like that. Who the person who owns that building? Okay. Right. Yeah. Mm. Har- harboring mm-hmm. the unkept. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Good. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Um, maybe who? Anybody want to maybe uh, add in the name of what that uh, sympathizer is? Siler. Siler. Hmm. Like I'm okay that. with that. So we got Siler, Clockmaker, Bo, <laughs> and Delilah. I'm just going with heroes. Yeah. And Siler is. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Tim, which character do you want to play? Oh, um, I'll play Siler. Okay. So you want to play the new Lunin who yeah, is the helping Zipfizer? Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. The, the building owner. Or, yeah. I'm gonna pass on this one. I'll play Bo. Play Bo. And you'll. If you, want, you want to play, if you want to play Delilah, you I, can. I, it might I be would, kind of fun, would, or it'll go back to you. You know what? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, and I okay. think this this demonstrates a really cool yeah. aspect of the game where we might have recurring characters, but they're not always going to be played by the same people, and in some case, yeah. they might be the opposite of what a previous scene kind of had you playing. So, okay. now I don't want to put yeah. you on the spot. No, 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 if, it, yeah. if, if, if you play however you want. Yeah. My my thought going into this scene. Mm-hmm. Was that Delilah is jaded? Well, she's probably hardened. Yeah. So I, I mean, I mean right, yeah. just like yeah, just build, just using another can, word. Yeah. Can you refresh the question we're answering again? And, and uh, so we're so and write the question down. Um. Is the is the terrorist act that's going to be occurring? Is the collateral damage of this act? Um. Basically, uh, is, is it acceptable? Is it acceptable? <clears throat> yeah, we're kind of facing a a, 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 mor- a morality dilemma here. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll go with: Is the collateral damage acceptable from a, from a morality standpoint? Dave's really uh, right, right is cold. Right right okay. yeah, Hard characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. I just letting you know. All right. So you're Bo. I'm Bo. Okay. Sup, so Delilah. <clears throat> All right. What's it like in New Luna City? I think everything's set. We have the uh, multi-phasic uh, plasma charges ready to go. <laughs> I love it. Is, are the teams ready? We're in shambles, Delilah. We can barely. Uh, most of our, most of the, in, most of us have hidden into the mountains. We can't. I can't get any radio signal. I can't get anything. You know, we can max twenty men. We need every able-bodied Earthling to participate in this attack. How many do you need? Everybody. I want to jump in and, and like kind of just walk into the room and, yeah. and inform you guys. Like, hey, I was just outside. There's there's a lot of traffic going on, but we haven't aroused any suspicion yet. Okay. We haven't drawn attention to ourselves, but there's a lot out there. Is there a way you can get word out to the other uh, the other Earthlings or what are we called again? Uh, unkept. The other unkept. Get the message out. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Your help is very appreciated. <laughs> You're gonna leave. Yeah. I'm gonna leave. Yeah. Right. yeah. This is too much of a risk. You know, if anything goes wrong, we're all dead. Sometimes you have to pay the ultimate price for what's important. If th- this is not worth the risk, we are going to die, and we have a semblance of living on if we. We could figure out another way. That is my decision to make. You elected me to be this, the ruler uh, or the leader of this, uh, this tribe of people who are left behind. If it means sacrificing everything to get what we want, so be it. You hear footsteps coming down the hall. Oh, I hate that. Goosebumps. <laughs> Gets louder and then fades. I imagine that I, I'll probably end up getting spooked and say, I'll see what I can do. And then I look for Siler to see if I can get out of here. Okay. Delilah delivers her catchphrase. Let's make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> All right. Um, I, so I think you answered, uh, answered the question. 
Yes, all collateral damage is acceptable. Let's, let's make it happen. Uh, <laughs> this act. Um, so we are going to discuss, and I'm going to just hand it back to you since this is your scene. Um, make the circle, but collectively we need to decide if this is going to be a dark tone or a light tone. Um... I think it's dark. I think we're sh we're showing a dark side of Delilah. Yeah. You know. That yeah. It's a it's it's it's. There is a side of her that is showing a ruthlessness and a disregard for life. Disregard for life. It's also, mm -hmm. I believe, there's 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 a desperation mm -hmm. that I that I feel mm -hmm. in her. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a, a a willingness to to. In or a, a struggle that where sh it has to happen, you know, and I feel like that's that comes from a dark place. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, she's angry for sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think we can all. Yeah. Pretty I'm just a little. Do you have anything else? She still hasn't gotten her lunanade. No. And <laughs> <laughs> that's the travesty in yeah. this story. Yeah. I'm just I'm just imagining I'm her like swapping out her because you kind of had described her as a little bit of a like a Stepford wife Southern type uh, Southern Belle. Yeah. Trading out her petticoats for hey, those like girls, they know how to ballistic hunt. vest, yeah. you know, and, oh, yeah. and combat boots, you yeah. know, type situation. Yeah, she so. had to grow up like Little real Sarah fast Connor and not in the best. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I mean, I, I imagine though, like those country girls, they like, you know, mm -hmm. they know how to like. <laughs> they gotta step up. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, uh, Tim. Um, so I think I want to do a scene, and. Um, I have, to, I have to like think of the question first. No, uh, so the biggest thing is which event does the scene happen in? I'm gonna say it. It doesn't have to be there though, right? It can be anywhere. It could be. Uh, well, um, it couldn't be anywhere. It'd have to be here because we only have events over here. But uh, he doesn't have to do a scene. He oh. could add an event. If he, he, he could add, add an, an event, event somewhere, somewhere else. Somewhere else, and he could put a period somewhere else as mm -hmm. well. Okay. Uh, but as far as the scene, a scene has to be nested within an existing event. So that right. would mean right, that right, it right, has right, to be right, over right, here. Right, right, right. I got that part. Mm -hmm. I just... Okay, so I want to do a scene, and I want to do a scene in under the event of classification of Lunin as a new species. Okay, and is that one going to take place before or after the scene that we had with, uh, with Colt and Delilah? I'm going to say before. Before? Yeah, before. Okay, all right. Um, so the scene I want to have is um, a new Lunin... On like a, like a medical table, like being fixed up by a doctor or, yeah, doctor. Um, and the question could I be a mechanic. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, and the question I want to answer is, what makes the new loon and tick? Like what, um, what powers them? What drives them? Like, how how are they um, like coming to being? Like, what's their energy source per se? Okay. Um. Okay, and then at the characters, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the characters I want to have. So I want to have um, Doctor Kota Yoshi. She's the, uh, she's a doctor, but she's kind of like evolved into helping new Lunans. Okay. Um, she has an assistant, uh, Kendricks, and uh, the patient, the new Lunan on the table is Dexia or Dex, and she, uh, she is. She's a factory worker that needs repair. She's a factory worker that needs mm -hmm. repair. Mm -hmm. So we built. Are we building off the this notion that the new Lunans have some sort of robotic? Yes. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They actually, but but they look like a blend between like human machine. Yeah. Or they're like a cyborg. Like a cyborg yeah. Because they're humanoid. Yeah. Right. I got. I got that. Okay. Okay. Is Doctor was it Kodayashi? 
Yeah, Koda Yoshi. Koda Yoshi. Koda Yoshi. Uh, is she human or new? <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Uh, I would say she's... Do do? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I would say um, both <laughs> Dr. Koda and Kendrix are, are both human. Both human. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay, and you're trying to... Uh, you were trying to determine... What, what's the question again? Um, what makes them tick? What powers them? What... Um, like how, like how have they kind of come into being almost like, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to say that that's known because that's a pretty basic, like they, this is not like an overnight change. Okay. Um, there would have been years and years of, of humans slowly incorporating technology and mechanics into their body, uh, to separate themselves from, from the human race uh, and to identify themselves as a new species. So I, as far as like what makes them tick, if you're a doctor, you would, you would know that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm. that would, that would be a little too simple. Too simple. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Oh, Well, this is kind of playing off of some of the other, the other scenes, but um, how how do humans feel having to help Nalunans? Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So you, you that's yeah, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Can I can I inject a, or suggest a push? Yeah. That uh, either the doctor or the assistant is a. a a Lunan. A, a Lunan? Lunan? Yeah. Okay, I could see I, that. I, I could, like... The but not known? Um, in secret? Ooh, I like oh, that. that's I interesting thinking, too. Okay. Well, I was thinking more of the... So, I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to say too much because I don't want to mm -hmm. uh, hijack, but... Yeah. I do like the um, idea of one of them being a new Lunan. I like the, the new Lunan... Undercover. In, in <laughs> Unknown. Um, yeah. Interesting. Mm. But which one? Uh, I haven't. <laughs> Maybe I, we I, don't I, know. I, I, well, oh. yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That'd be funny. All right. Drop, I feel like drop. we need to like pick, pick, yeah. uh, yeah, pick can the. I, okay. Can the, I play? The cast okay. at this well, point. I don't get to pick. The only, the last thing is, um, <laughs> are there any people that you are not involving? So anybody that wouldn't be a part of this specifically? Uh, that wouldn't be a part of this. Um. That we might want to interject. I, I don't think so, but if, if there is somebody in mind that you're like, no, they're definitely not part of this scene. Yeah, I don't think anyone necessarily would not be a part of it. Because, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, I'll leave that open. Okay. Um, gosh. Uh, I. Is Dex conscious? Um, yes. Okay. I'd like to make a push that he's not conscious. Okay, so if I could summarize this, or if we could summarize the scene real fast, because I kind of lost it. All right. Can you can you do that for me? Yeah. Um, we are we are in a hospital. There is a doctor and a nurse, or, or at assistant, least an yeah. assistant, mm -hmm. um, working on Dex, who is a factory worker that's injured and needs to be healed slash repaired. Um, and we know that Dex is a new Lunin. The other two are at least appearing to be human. Um, yeah, I like that. And Dex is unconscious, so I'm gonna say that Dex is actually a secondary character. Okay. If uh, if there's a moment where somebody wants to jump in and say that Dex wakes up, then we might introduce uh, Dex, uh, male or female? Uh, it's okay. female, Dexia. Okay. Dexia. So we have uh, Koda Yoshi is female as well, mm -hmm. and then Kendrix is female. Okay, so all women. All right. Um, yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds okay. good with it. Um, so you start off right with. Yeah. I yeah. honestly, I, I kind of want to play. Um, I kind of want to play Kendrix. Okay. Yeah. That, I, Kendrix is the the assistant. The assistant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is that who you wanted to play? Yeah. So it's up to you. Uh, <laughs> it's up to you if you want to play anything. I'll um, pass on this one. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, I'm kind of no, curious what your ideas no, were. There. My my whole character was built off. Was oh, <laughs> go for it! I don't want to take that away. If you already have yeah. like a concept and everything you want to go with, I, I yeah yeah okay 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 it's okay. it's all yours. Okay, are you sure? Yep, absolutely. Are you sure? So I feel yeah. bad. 
You take who did you want to take? The, the research assist, the assistant. Yeah, Kendrick. Kendrick's Kendrick's the assistant. Yeah, I, like, I, is he? Re, he's like a research assistant. She. Yep. She. Uh, Rex. Uh, Kendrick. 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 Oh, Kendrick's is a female. Yes. Yeah. They're all all three of them in the scene. Can I make a push yep. to make it a, a male? Is that possible? It's on him. I I don't mm. think it makes a difference. I don't think it so. Makes a difference, I think so. it should stay as stay as stated. Yeah, I think okay. I think I want to keep it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um. Okay. So you could be a doctor. I'll be Koda. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor Yoshi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. right? Okay. Um. These these <laughs> these new Lunans are just. And I'm rooting around, like, pulling wiring apart and also, like, organic pieces. These are such a mess to work in. It, you'd think they'd put more care into creating these bodies if they're synthetic. It's just laziness. Do do doctor, 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 doctor. Um, I had been analyzing the, um, the hydrox cortex and found a anomaly in the, um, the worker or the patient's... Um, um, uh, the, their hydration readings are just, I can't even wrap my brain around it. I don't understand. Are, are they high? Are they low? Are they, I mean, this is still one mostly, minute, one minute mostly high, person. One minute to low, I, I can't, I really can't figure it out. It's, it, 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 it's, it's bonkers. It's just bonkers. Well, what do you suggest we do about it? I'm not the doctor. No, but you're giving me information that I'm not aware of. What do you What do you suggest? Well, this could mean that the fibula artery is going to explode. Really, I, I mean, feel like they need something, like something to, to, to rectify this problem. I wonder if we should just watch it happen. I I, I don't think that's a good idea, Doctor. Well, why not? They're just part machine anyway. Well, and you I, said I mean, it's an uh, issue with the machine part, right? I mean, doctor, I didn't swear an oath to you know uphold you know to, to save lives and stuff, but I mean, I, I feel like I, I, I kind of want to help this person. Well, I mean, I took an oath too, but do no harm. But can you really harm a machine? I mean, I, I can I, I can like I hurt the things in here? I, I don't I don't really don't think that I can. I mean, I I have some friends that are new lunins, and they 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 they're important to me, and I just like to extend that. Well, then same. why don't you take care of this then? Let well, let me step back. It seems like you know what you're talking about. No, well, doctor, I'm just saying that you know, like I'm just telling you what I, the what the reading the, the the chart says. I don't know what to actually do. I didn't go to New Lunar Medical School. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a school. <laughs> uh, did we answer the question? No, wait, hold on. Oh, keep going. Keep okay, going. so, uh, and imagine this maybe New Lunar dies there. Like, there's like a, like, flat lines. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say that Dr. Yoshi stands by and watches it happen. And they call it a crash. And and right, okay. a crash. So, yep. A crash. So, and and, then, and, and the whole time she's going to be staring at you. And like so, so then as so then Jax is like, well, that doctor, I, I I have other patients and other doctors that I need to report to. So I'm really sorry that that I couldn't be more of an assistance to you. Oh no, you were plenty help. Okay. So then. Thank as, you. So then as in I, fact. so then as Drex walks away, he like she turns <laughs> real just like. Like posture, complete posture changes. Like takes glasses off, maybe puts them on her head, and she just kind of walks away. That was my cool. Style. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. Was that? Did everybody? Okay. Yeah. 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 That was something. Huh? That was great, actually. Yeah. yeah. I like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. Is there anything else? I think we answered the question. Yeah, we did. Yeah, uh, definitely how do, did. How do humans feel about helping new Lunans? Yeah, they don't. They don't. They don't like it. Yeah, they don't. Nope. Yeah, uh, they don't like it at all. Um, light or dark? I would dark. I would. Yeah. Another dark. I think it's dark. I think a dark sure. one. Okay. Color that in real quick. All right, another dark. And you said this one went before uh, before, 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 before that scene. The scene with Delilah and Colt. Yeah. Uh, could you write the uh, the names of the characters on that one just yeah. so we have reference for it? All right. Uh, back around to me as the lens. I get to uh, place two more, either a period and event, event or scene. And I think 
what I'm going to do is I am going to create an event that uh, during I think that's where it's going to go. It's going to go into this event, the classification of new lunins uh, or lunins as a new species, and after the uh, scene with Delilah and Colt that a transport ship is going to escape and it is going to be the largest transport of humans that are able to escape New Lunan. It is piloted by a, uh, a woman named Sophia Yashigawa, I think is uh, going to be her name. Hashigama. Sophia Hashigama. And she is going to be uh, a figurehead for the the unkept throughout. They are going to see her as a hero for for or some of them are going to see her as a hero for rescuing so many humans and getting them to safety. Others are going to see her as a coward <clears throat> who fled when her leadership could have been better used here on New Luna. She is human. She is human. Yep. Um, to to protect those that were left behind. So there's going to be a little bit of a divide over her uh, on the on the edge of the um, on the on the other end of the spectrum. The the Lunans are also going to see her as a hero for removing so many humans from their home, and perhaps always uh, also a coward or an enemy because she allowed so many humans to continue their existence in the universe, um, only spreading the uh, the plague that they are. Um, yeah, I, I think that's, I'm just going to make that uh, an event cool. um, after the classification of Lunan as a new species. And then, Tim, you get to pick the legacy for this round. Legacy. Um, hmm. What's the last event? New, New Luna, Luna goes, goes dark. dark. John, did you write that the Sophia Hashigawa that that whole? What was that? Yeah, I kind of had like a couple things prepared that I knew I would use. Uh, not specifically, they were kind of generic that I could plug in as, as yeah. needed. I wrote mm -hmm. down some names too to like mm -hmm. pull out of a hat. <laughs> That's so smart. Yeah. Um, so I have to pick a legacy. So it's gonna. I can only pick one, and I can only have one at a time, right? Yes. Okay, and this can be a period, event, or a scene, or even a character, right? Yes. It just has to be something that's already on the board. Okay. Um, you can't introduce a new thing during yeah. this time. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I, uh, I forgot to say. I think I'm going to make oh. this uh, light. Okay. This okay. escape is going to be light. Yeah. What was I think it overall. Is the... Flies the largest transport of humans away from New Luna. And that's Luna. still, that's in the, uh, under the emancipation? So this is going to go mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Um, I think... Hmm. What was the, the scene again? That was uh, discussing the collateral damage of a terrorist attack. Terrorist attack, and then we have Colt and Delilah. What question was that answering again? Uh, who the reclassification benefited the most, essentially. Okay. Who benefited the most? <laughs> yeah. We determined it was the Lunans that, mm -hmm. that benefited the most. And then mm -hmm. how do humans feel about helping new Lunans? And that, that was prior to it, actually. I should put this mm -hmm. on top. Can a legacy be uh, an, an object within a scene? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. A legacy is a reference to the a person or, or uh, I'm just, something. I'm, I'm trying to it's something that would person or thing would carry through yeah. everything. Like if there was a Smithsonian at the end of this, right? The a legacy would be in that Smithsonian, right? As an exhibit. Or something. Yeah. There would be documentaries yeah. about that thing, whatever it might be. Clearly a Delilah. 
<laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be. It could. She could be the legacy. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I can I can have the event as a legacy as well, right? Uh, yes. Um, but it needs to be. A, yeah, yeah. Like a, a, like a significant battle could be a legacy. Um, it's something that just. If you are part of that culture, you inherently know it. And other cultures know of it if they know anything about that culture. Like, uh, think of um, Statue of Liberty, Mm. right? Think of... uh, Assassination. Yeah, Assassination of JFK. That is a legacy. It is is imprinted in the American mindset. Okay. That is like, that that will just go on forever. All right, I got it. Nuclear bomb. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So I want to to keep as a legacy the people of the unkept. Okay. Okay. All right. So a legacy... So the just the unkept. The unkept, yeah. All right, is a legacy. All right, we're gonna do this. The unkept. All right, Jordan, you are the lens. Okay. So you get to choose the focus of this next round. We got, I think we can go a little bit faster now yeah. that we kind of yeah. understand yeah. what's going on. I think I'm going to choose the rise of the velour be the focus. Okay. Okay. Like that. Oh yeah, you picked your own, huh? I did. <laughs> Selfishly speaking. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and add an event that takes place during that time. It's a thing called Break Force, which is a planetary death race. I think uh, nice. oh, wow. yeah, okay. That's ran okay. by the Valor, um, something one of their main uh, forms of profit. Like, it's how they run their uh, get money and. I'm, I'm, so I'm what, a real Mad Max vibe. Yeah. yeah. So For what Mad. is the Valor? The Valor is a faction of um, a faction of people who have just been. They started as small <clears> gangs <throat> and have gained notoriety to be almost a country now they have uh, they oh. have roots in many countries they control uh, on multiple planets or one so planet? this on, on this takes like place on huts. a planet they do control multiple planets they're like the huts okay mm. all right yeah. like uh, so they're them. they're a crime syndicate they're yes. a crime syndicate they okay rise, rise. <clears throat> okay crime uh, syndicate i like that yeah like okay that. and so they have started planetary death races oversee the operation i'm assuming the gambling and payouts gambling and payouts collections for and all those even okay. capturing people to <laughs> have bodies race okay however it is some place some like there are people who sign up to uh like try to reap the, there is a hefty uh, bounty to win if you do make it through. if you win yes. there's a big prize okay yeah absolutely okay all right um so you put that down if you want to put a scene in there, Break you can, force. or otherwise we're, we're going to move on to uh, to Dave. I think that we're to pass it okay. off to Dave. Okay. I, I've got. A, I'll throw a scene on there. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is, this <laughs> takes the scene takes place uh, immediately following a death race. Uh, the victor of the death race, uh, Augustus. Uh, I need a last name. Um, Glue. Blue? No, no. Just, <laughs> it's the only Augustus yeah. I know. Oh. Augustus, I uh, need it's something like heroic. I mean, Augustus, we're uh, gonna stick with the uh, Greek theme that we seem to be. Maximus is always a good one. Okay, Augustus, Augustus Maximus. Max, Max, uh, Augustus. Augustus. Indominus. That works. <laughs> I, I'm just recalling the, the Jurassic Park uh, uh, yeah, right. trivia. Yeah. I just watched yeah. that too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Augustus Indominus. Indominus. Augustus Indominus. Yeah. It's a mouthful. Oh, yeah, uh, I get it. No, he doesn't yeah. have a lot of fans because he can't. No one can cheer him. <laughs> oh yeah. So he's um, Indominus. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, Indominus. Mercenary. Um, you know, and he he desperately wants to get off world. He needs this money for for something really important. Do we know uh, what that so maybe the is, question. Is it, do you already have in mind what that? No, I know. No, so no. the question is, uh, why was it so important that he win this race? Okay. The question is why. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so um, maybe he's uh, speaking to his his team because this death race, uh, you you have it's you. There's no way you can do it on your own. You have your your vehicle, so you have your crew mm-hmm. on it. So mm-hmm. he he has his crew. So. Uh, and by planetary, do you mean it takes place on a planet or it takes place 
between <clears throat> planets. A whole planet. The race is on. It's it like is, I'm, oh, it's a oh, whole. Oh, okay. It's, 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 it's in the <laughs> atmosphere. Are they flying? Are they flying, flying in the, the atmosphere of a planet, or it's yeah. like around it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I kind of like the idea of it being both a land, sea, and sky race by any means necessary. You have. A, you have to hit checkpoints. I mean, I like the idea, yeah. idea of being on multiple planets, both in the atmosphere and out, right? Yeah. Or no? Or do you there, want to be on multiple planets? Within. I'm just, I'm gonna ask you. Let's just say that there are checkpoints in the sky, but they're less common. Okay. I don't think that the speeders are something that most people can afford, or some kind of aircraft is. Right. It's it's definitely not, not something the Valor want to uh, fund for their uh, the people who are forced to participate in this race. So it's it. like a death They're not escaping. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm imagining like uh, the Red Bull. Um, yeah. Races, oh, okay. You know, like yeah. in the planes, yeah. you know, where, where they, like in, they have to hit like certain points oh, along the track. And, and, I kind of like that too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but they but they could be on the ground. They could be in the air, and they just it, but it's around mm-hmm. the entire planet. Yeah. All right. Jax cool. Is, Jax has won the race three times. By the way. <laughs> he, he is not. Okay, so, um, Bye, Jeremy. Augustus Indominus, who uh, is the pilot. Is that a race name? Is that a race name? Yeah, or is that his real name? Does he have a pilot oh, name? Oh, um, I think Augustus. That's his real name. Augustus. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's his name. Maybe, maybe, maybe they call it, maybe his race name is Dominus. Okay. You know. sure. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Ago- yeah. Dominus. Okay. Dominus? Call okay. Sign, yeah. Call sign Dominus. Dominus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that is a good name. Yeah, and then uh, his his uh, two 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 crew members. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. I was. Uh, <laughs> stop. Go ahead. <laughs> stop it, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. All right, keep going, Dave. And, and then his two crew members, um, Lexi. Lexi. F- female. Okay. That species, whatever. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Kip. Kip. Oh, Ooh, Kip. I like, that's a good, yeah. that's All right. a good one. Uh, yeah. What is, uh, are the are the species of these characters? Whatever. I want to give more freedom to the performers. Okay, so. got it. Um, we'll do that. <laughs> a little aqua. Aqua artist. We're going to make that turn at 45. <laughs> <laughs> that's not happening. Um, I okay. Can't do, I can't do all so the So the scene <laughs> is him giving a pep talk to his two crew members. Yeah. As to why they need to win this yeah, race, just before the race is about to start, you know, maybe they're on the starting line, okay. and they're having their their powwow just before uh, before it takes off. So, okay. Yeah. Um, who would like to play Augustus? Any volunteers? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I'll play him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then. Um, I'd like to play Kip. Yeah. Sure. Kip. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like and then, and then yeah. Lexi. Who wants to be Lexi? I'll play Lexi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, so we're on on this ship. Yeah. Like the race is gonna start in like, like in a few minutes, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. What kind of ship are we in? Like, what's what's the type of race that we're? Definitely not a pod racer. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <It's>, it... <laughs> in my head, I'm thinking like just like the two like yeah, yeah. turbines. Like, <laughs> like, I think we need more space for more people. It's gotta be versatile, right? It's gotta yeah. be for land. For land, water, and sky, right? Because yeah. it's almost like a triathlon, yeah, sort of. Exactly. Okay. So you know, it's like a um, probably it's probably like put together, you know, like. Loosely, it's, it's probably not like a high end, you know, top of the line deal. This is probably put together from scrap. Um, oh. I don't know why, but in my head, this just turned into a musical, though. <laughs> yeah, do you want to play? No, I don't. <laughs> we got a race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's not much time. <laughs> okay. All right. We're gonna um, win. We're gonna win, 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 win. Were the names Lexi and Kip, right? Yeah. All right. Woo. Lexi and Kip, this race is really important. What's up, boss? Yeah, 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 we know, we know. We, we all know. know our jobs, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got the fuel. I got the fuel. It's all in the ship. We have some reserves <laughs> if we need. He's on it. Awesome, yeah. I got the water part. All the pressure sensors all calibrated, ready to go. Fantastic. I, I've, been, I've been checking, checking the, the stabilizers, and uh, they, should, they should hold. Um, they should hold. <laughs> I've been hearing some, I've been hearing about your competition. I really, there's a racer there named Crank. And he's a beast out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beast, beast. You gotta watch out. He's Jeez, running man. everyone off the road. <laughs> <laughs> watch out for his spikes, too, man. They're, I see him in action. They're pretty he's got deadly. the slashers and the rippers and the cutters. 
It's all right. I got you. I, I got you. He's taken out ten racers already. But you got it, boss. You got it. I think we you got do this. It. Remember, we're on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say hype to his goal. We got this. We all know how important to see each one of us, right? We we need this <laughs> this race money. Kip's yeah, money. We need the money. Kip's for sure. For sure. <laughs> shot. For sure. I, I saw him hit five bullseyes with with the gunner yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I oiled everything. Make sure it's nice and my nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Keep my <laughs> keep my shots tight. Tight. You greased up the gun so they're not going to jam, right? Yes. Yeah. While okay. our harnesses are, are are soldered in place and we're we're good to go. Awesome. Because after this race, I think we're set. We are golden. We well, have the life that we want. I'm tired of living in poverty, sir. I really need you to pull this through. I don't know anything else, so anything that you can do to help us out. <laughs> oh, Gosh. <God. laughs> it's okay, Kip. You know you're just along for the ride, but you're going to benefit the most. Am I? <laughs> All right, we'll, I am. We'll see. All right. We're going to win first. Oh, Thanks, boss. Why, why is he going to get the most? <laughs> he has the most to gain. <laughs> if, I, mean, I work the hardest. My grandpa taught me all those engineering skills, and I th feel like this car would not be put together without me. But I'm so, so, sm so, so much smaller. I have to work so much harder to do everything. But don't worry, guys, because we all have to play our parts in this, in this, in this, in this race. <laughs> and if we work together, because we really got to work together, we can win this race. We work together. I'll do my best. <laughs> Kip hops up and tries to like put his hand out, <laughs> like up towards the, the other two of you, because he's really, really short and small. Uh, and so he's, he's looking for a kind of a team, uh, team all hands in. Let's okay. go. I put my hand down because I am joking. I'm like, like I have to lean down a little bit to okay. get. It. And I'm like hopping up. I find it. I, I'll grab a hold of your cargo pants yeah. and like pull myself up a little bit and. Uh, and I, I look at both of you like, you guys are weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> I go in. But you're, we're your weirdos. Go team. You need a name for your ship. What's the ship name? Uh, the ship name, um, the Dark Specter. Kip named it, and no, it is not. No. The Dark what is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am pushing right now. That Kip, Kip named it, and uh, I think he's gonna call it the Skip or. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's cheesy. Bro. That's <laughs> All right. Awesome. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, whatever that is. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess that's because we cannot put it together ourselves. What so. the Rex? Yeah. The Rex. Dominus. Yeah. The Rex. Yeah. The Rex. I don't know. That's a good name. Yeah. Sorry. I'd go with the Skipper. All right. Uh, so I don't. I don't. Do we quite answer it? I think we're just yeah. trying to. We're struggling. We're yeah. poor, yeah. and we're, we're just poor. trying to get you out of here. Make yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. You want to make it? Right. Yeah. You definitely answered it. So I would say this is a, a light moment. Yeah. 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 For sure. I think yeah. So. That yeah. was a light scene. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. All this darkness. <laughs> um, I am going to uh, place the last thing in this round, and then I think we might wrap it up from there. So let's see. Uh, Can you put an index card under that? Yeah, uh, make oh, sure yes. that you write the question and uh, and uh, okay. and then make sure you make it a light. Um, and we are going to do oh, need a marker. Rise of the Valor. Oh. I am going to make an event that the first Techno Necropolis opens under the care of the Valor. Techno Acropolis. And Necropolis. Techno Necropolis. Over. And, what is, what, what and is uh, they use it to keep their godfathers alive an inordinate amount of time. They are, they're basically on life support, but these massive buildings are just pulsing with air and, and pumping out air and pumping fluids and blood through these things that are, are no longer whatever they used to be. They're, they're mostly just attached to machines for, mm -hmm. for life support. But the Valor keeps and maintains their power because these creatures are still alive and therefore they still have influence. And those that, are, that have favor with the Valor are welcome to uh, take their place within these techno necropoli okay. and survive. It, it is the oh, closest thing so to morbid and cool to uh, eternity or or mm -hmm. immortality that the Valor can offer, and they do so on. Um, I don't know. I need some help for a planet name where they might do this. Uh, um, Tiberius Synthona. 
Symphona. Ooh, I like that one. I like All right, that. Symphona. So, there. Uh, do you want to make that a basis of operation for them, or purely for these like? This, these buildings and then the culture of things that they're, take they're, care of them. I like the basis of operations for that. Okay. Sure. All right. Uh, I don't know if you want to simful. S Y N Fona. Symphona. Yeah. I'm imagining a really cyberpunky. All right, and we'll put that there. Cool. Um, and then the final thing before we close out, and we're still going a little bit long, so sorry. Thank you for watching along. <laughs> is uh, Jordan, you get to finish this out with a final. Uh, period and event, or event and scene. Let's make it a, a period and event. Period and um, event. We had a lot of scenes in that last yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. cycle. And then I'm going to choose the legacy. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put synthesized new drug called, and I'm actually willing to have some input on what this drug is called. I wrote down Trace 6. That's what does it do? I have a feeling that it um, slows down what people's perception can be. So like it makes it makes things slow down for the user. So like they can kind of like, I'm imagining like bullet time, bullet time for them. Mm. It, so they, it's like a performance enhancing. Okay. Drug. So Ooh. time slows down for them, but they, they seem extra fast for everybody yes. else. Mm. Uh, what'd you call it? Trace six. Trace six. I, I want to call it the street name is blur. Blur. I like blur better. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trace six can be like the scientific name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Street Trace name is blur. Yeah. yeah. It's like AKA w blur. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's an event. And I'm gonna actually put that, Resume. and I'm gonna have that be a dark p event, and I'll have that go actually somewhere in the Andres the Protector uh, period. Ooh. Okay. okay. And this, so this is related this to the Valor. This is related to the Valor. Should okay. I write that hmm. in the corner there? Uh, yes. Just Andres. write it down that they they were funding it, overseeing the research, or. They were the peddlers of this drug, whatever it was, but the yeah, to keep within the um, yeah. within the focus. Yeah. Okay, and then for my other uh, period, I want to put. Um, um, Humans establish. That's that's it, that's okay. New Terra. It's not under the era of. It is. It's, oh, it is under the and and oh of yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm. And then this is gonna go. Before or after or before at so I I put my event during the era of Andros the Protector as well, um, kind of signifying a precursor to the rise of the Valor. Okay, and then I'm gonna put mine before your event. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna uh, establish new Terra and have this be a light period. I should have wrote it vertically, but I'm going to do that. Okay, so you're establishing a new Terra and where does that one go in the timeline? Um, after the exploration of the dark uh, planets. Okay. Cool. All right, so we're going to go over here. Awesome, we have quite the timeline. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be <laughs> this yeah. is pretty amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. Sorry we went a little bit long on this episode. Um, we, we may or may not come back to this, but we will definitely be moving forward with our Space Opera RPG game shortly using this timeline as the basis for those adventures. So make sure that you're following Tabletop Takeovers on Facebook, Instagram, on YouTube. Make sure you hit that little bell for the notifications when these new episodes come up. We really appreciate your support. And uh, let us know if, what you like about this, uh, you know, our, our shows, so that way we can give you more of it. Um, and as always, grab some friends. Play some games. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Yes, sixes! Woo! <laughs> I win. Shit. I win. I win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's John and Frankie. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>
Don't worry, they're still watching right now, Frankie. Oh, there we go. <laughs> ah, there we go. All right.